step-by-step -step guide on how to write an imbalanced nutrition nursing diagnosis. Writing a nursing diagnosis related to imbalanced nutrition involves a systematic approach to assessing the patient's condition, identifying the problem, and formulating a concise statement that communicates the nursing concern. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to write an imbalanced nutrition nursing diagnosis. Step 1. Assessment. Begin by collecting comprehensive data about the patient's nutritional status. This involves evaluating their dietary intake, weight history, medical history, laboratory results, and physical assessment findings. Identify any factors that contribute to the imbalance in nutrition, such as medical conditions, example diabetes, malabsorption disorders, dietary habits, and lifestyle. Step 2. Problem Identification Analyze the collected data to identify potential problems related to imbalanced nutrition. Consider both the actual problems, evident from assessment data, and the risk factors, factors that may lead to future problems. Look for cues that suggest inadequate or excessive intake of nutrients, abnormal weight changes, or signs of malnutrition. Step 3. Nursing Diagnosis Statement Based on the assessment and problem identification, create a concise nursing diagnosis statement. This statement should follow the problem etiology, signs, or symptoms format, problem, P state the problem related to imbalanced nutrition. For example, imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirements or imbalanced nutrition, more than body requirements, etiology, E describe the underlying causes or contributing factors. These could include factors like inadequate intake, altered metabolism, medical conditions, or psychosocial issues, signs or symptoms, S mention the evidence from assessment that supports the diagnosis. This could include weight changes, abnormal laboratory values, example, low albumin levels, changes in appetite, etc. Example nursing diagnosis statements, imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirements related to inadequate intake of nutrients as evidenced by 10% weight loss over the past month, decreased dietary intake, and low serum albumin levels, imbalanced nutrition, more than body requirements related to excessive intake of high-calorie foods as evidenced by a BMI of 32. Frequent consumption of fast food, and elevated serum triglyceride levels. Step 4. Validation and collaboration. Share your nursing diagnosis with other members of the healthcare team, such as registered dietitians, physicians, and other nurses. Collaboration ensures that the diagnosis accurately reflects the patient's condition and helps in designing an effective care plan. Step 5. Planning and Interventions Develop a comprehensive care plan that outlines specific interventions to address the imbalanced nutrition diagnosis. These interventions may include dietary modifications, patient education, monitoring intake and output, administering medications, and addressing psychosocial factors influencing nutrition. Step 5. Evaluation Regularly assess the patient's progress and adjust the care plan as needed. Evaluate whether the interventions are achieving the desired outcomes related to nutrition balance. If the patient's condition improves, modify the care plan accordingly. Conclusion, in general, nursing diagnoses are meant to guide your care planning and interventions. The information in the diagnosis should be accurate, specific, and based on the patient's assessment data.